when in fact we should apportion some responsibility well up that supply chain to the developers, to the supply. Just got the ID card for the Cyber Week. And yeah, this is the Cyber Horse and this is where the registration is taking place. And we are going to the first event which is... So, so the first event is Academic Perspective of Cyber Security. So this is the place where the event will take place. Let's go inside. So guys here we are at the cyber security event so this is the first year and I just got this you can say badge or iCard so this iCard allows me to enter to all the cyber security events that are taking place and I don't have to show my other ID or I just can show this ID card and yes they are preparing the food so we'll get the breakfast and then there will be the conference so see you there. So guys I just got to know that there is also a map inside this ID card so I can just open it and it shows all the events and uh, basically the timetable of all the events and at the back side you can just see the places where those events will be taking place inside the university so they will be taking place in different auditoriums and halls so yes this is crazy. So guys the best part about these events is that you get the free food so you don't have to prepare your own breakfast or lunch you can just eat as much as you can and yeah it's a good part about the events I just came out of this event because I was quite bored and I didn't have any interest in it so yeah I'm going to the dorms now and yeah let's head to the dorms so I'm still I'm still exploring the campus but that's the computer science building it's a new building and it just looks amazing and it's, it's quite beautiful and guys that's the Dan David building that's where our orientation took place and I guess that's where our classes will be taking place for the cyber security summer program the Jewish museum and yeah it's pretty nice this is another building I don't know the name. and 
and there's our flag so you can just go out from here but you cannot come inside because it just rotates in one direction see and now we are out from the university and our Einstein domes are in front of the university you just have to cross the road another Tesla so they are also building this trams or monorail or light rail whatever they call it so here we are at the Einstein dorms so these are usually given to the undergrad students and the masters and PhD students live at Brosham dorms mostly just check the tap Shalom So these are the Einstein dorms, this is building C, building B, this and that, these two are the bomb shelters, so you just have to go inside them if anything unwanted happens, otherwise it's perfectly safe here. <laughs> no elevators in the Einstein dorm, so you just have to walk through the stairs. Well, a messy kitchen. So that's my room. And that's my bed and table. international stability and prevent conflict. This is our vision, like-minded countries working together to ensure the global, can gain, global community can gain the benefits of cyberspace and avoid the harms that institute. opinions can work well together for the good of a, of a country and uh, I uh, uh, one of my lessons learned is that you know we all tend to have uh, categories and, and prejudices of folks with different opinions it turns out they're pretty nice folks who, who like Israel no less than me even though uh, they may have uh, left-wing opinions right-wing opinions religious secular when there's decent people and, uh, and uh, good people, we can all work together for the betterment of uh, Israel. That's the single biggest achievement of this, uh, of this government. So the short...
So I should think about the infrastructure sometimes in things that was no, definitely. I think it works from both directions. The challenge is much bigger in modern architecture where microservices are part of it, also the usage, extensive usage of external services. That is a chaos because there's so many moving parts and you know, this is exactly why